Hello, I'm Tommy Bennett on behalf of myself and Laurie Mendiola, and this is the second part of our learning menus with Google Workspace. This part will be covering the learning menu portion. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking on our logo during the videos. Also leave a comment or check out our related videos by clicking on the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. And now let's get into that second part with the learning menus. So the learning menu is using a template that we can use different ways, can be modified. And so to guide everyone in doing this, we have a learning menu instructable. And this instructable is thinking in the terms of meal courses. So first course, second course, third course. So students would have to complete something in the first course. They would then get to the second course, which is the dinner projects, sort of the main meat of the work. And then they would have the third course where they are choosing how they're going to demonstrate competency. Then we're also listing the rubric as part of this because students will need to see how this is going to be graded since this is a little bit more open-ended than what they may be used to. With the instructable, slide decks and things like that could be linked digitally as part of the instructable itself. Just like a waiter or waitress comes and takes your menu, then students could have a card where they're pre-selecting what they're working on. So you can see our options here where they can select the appetizer. They can select the dinner project and then they would select the presentation dessert. And this would help them re be, you know, remind them of what they said they would work on throughout the project. Now as they're looking at this, they would also have the learning menu in front of them. Now this template is food themed so it can be edited to fit your needs and you can use you know, anything that has like menu options that you enjoy. Now since this is a food themed menu we've got it laid out just like a restaurant menu and so at the beginning you can see the research appetizers, you can see the dinner projects, and then you can see the presentation dessert. Students would have to work linear, linearly through these and they would pick you know one in research, then one in dinner projects, and then one in the presentation. And this could be modified to fit your needs if you think they need to do more for each section. So, but again, unlike a choice board, they would have to pick an appetizer before they could move to dinner project. And at the end, they have to have some type of presentation to demonstrate what they're doing. Now, with each of those, we have a set of task cards that would go along with what they need to do to do each one of those tasks. So these task cards just have basic instructions on reminding the students this is what you need to go through. Like Google slide sliders, you can say, you know, you need seven slides. For the flashcard dip, you can say, well, get some flashcards, do six to eight facts. And then screen cakeify just goes along telling them, you know, even though it's a recorded presentation, you still need to go through and kind of outline what you're doing. And so they would work through these steps. Narrative nachos, same thing, except it's in writing. And so they need to have their outline and then do a rough draft and then final draft. And so, again, just very basic steps to remind students what they need to do. And the same thing for the next set of, of items. And again, just providing a brief explanation of each thing and a brief set of steps for students to follow. Now, for the rubric, students need to know how this is being graded. And so the rubric would allow you to list the research portion, you know, what criteria are you judging it by? And then you could set your point total, put your criteria in, and the students could see, okay, this is what you're looking for in the research, regardless of what item that you choose. These are the key things that are being sought. Same thing for the second part of the project, the actual dinner portion. What are you looking for? Set your criteria set your points and then go through and the students can see this beforehand. Now, depending on how the students are responding at the end, if they're doing a screencastify or a presentation, then there needs to be a presentation rubric to show them, okay, you're talking, whether it's recorded or in person, this is what's being used to grade it. And the presentation rubric, of course, is slightly different than the others because this does involve the student actually talking and going through their information. Now, we always have this issue of learning 
early finishers. And so for early finishers, for students who need reinforcement, extra credit, or remediation, we are providing the choice board value menu for the learning menu that we have. So the learning menu we said is very linear and students have to work through these specific things to get from start to finish. But if they finish early, if you see they need some help, they come asking for extra credit, then the value menu choice boards may be a good option to throw in there and give them some kind of very small things they can work on, either while you're waiting on others to finish or just to help them with their own work. So this is set up as a value menu, like at a fast food restaurant. And so we're, we have here Miss Mindy Yellow's Good Burger Grill. And so you can see the different options that the students could do for any of that per personalized learning that they may need. And so this is a way to work a choice board into the end, end of the learning menu and give students some, some options based on what you've seen from the learning menu outcomes. And so this is just a way that might work in um, for those who like to use choice boards, or you feel like you need a way for students to who finish early to have a little something to keep them busy while everyone else is working through their presentations and things. So again, we have something we're telling students they need to do, and so we need to have that choice board rubric. And this wraps up our information for the learning menu templates. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.